What's up, my man? How are you doing? Good, man. Good. Finally. Good, good. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. You're welcome. So I was, I was talking about how you've been training for, you had told me for about 10 years, the last six years, probably a little more intensely. And uh, you come from a sales background. I know you had said you'd worked at GNC as well. And GNC is like, right now, uh, it's one of those like dinosaurs of, of the old days. It's, you know, having to like learn the new tricks to stay afloat and still be cutting edge. So uh, welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Anytime. Glad to be awesome, here. Awesome, awesome. No, for sure. So how did you get involved in the whole iron game? How did that all happen? Um, basically, like I said, I started uh, training, you know, around like six years intense. And, um, you know, before that, I ended up just being kind of, you know, lifting the weights, you know, at the gym, kind of getting a routine, kind of little, you know, basic workouts. And then I got really involved in like trying to cross train into like different type of uh, um, sports involved with weightlifting and things like that. So I got actually interested in um, obstacle, uh, obstacle course racing. And then um, from there on, that was about six years ago, I started to uh, get into like Spartan race. Uh, that was sponsored by Reebok and then trying, I think my first race was at Temecula, California. It was a half marathon beast. And um, I was really inspired by a couple guys that did that, you know, Hunter McIntyre. I mean, he's, he's like a pro as far as uh, I, Isaiah Vidal. And um, basically what got my attention with that is that these guys weighed about 195 pounds, but they would win these races. You know what I'm talking about? Like mm -hmm. doing six minute average, you know, miles, um, you know, and being very, uh, you know, athletic. And that's what um, I started getting interested in too, and, um, about six years ago. So um, as far as, you know, getting into like bodybuilding and things like that, which I still do, and I think is a, you know, a huge benefit if you want to, uh, you know, gain muscle and strength. I also incorporate a lot of uh, different type of workouts that, you know, makes me a little bit more mobile, um, CrossFit, you could say, or functional training. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you, Kim. Very nice comment. But yeah, it, there's so many, you know, different, uh, uh, you know, areas of fitness, honestly, because I think when, you know, we're like in the bodybuilding world, we kind of get stuck in this rut where it's got to be physique based or it's got to be strength based, but there's just so much more. And, right. uh, and especially, you know, like with the GNC background, you probably, I mean, it runs the gamut. I mean, from cyclists to, to swimmers and, and, and kayaking and CrossFit and just just so many different things just a couple of days ago i had a uh, scarlet uh scarlet my gosh I, uh, uh, well i forgot her last name but but yeah she she actually was a pro uh, pro uh bikini competitor slash figure competitor goes to thailand she just wants to lose some weight she discovers muay thai she falls in love with mma i mean that's another whole area too so um i just think honestly like you know, there's just so much going on. And so if you're somebody that likes fitness and likes training and let, you know, can eat right, I mean, your physique is great. And I don't know if you compete, you know, in physique based sports or not. Do you compete? I do not. I mean, I've been looking into it. Um, I'm 35, I'll be 36. And uh, my whole goal is that, you know, they always say that when you turn 30, you know, things start to decline. And I guess that motivates me to tell them, hey, no, look, you know, we can still do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I, For sure. I in their 20s and man, you know, it's, you know, I think that if you are really strict, like you were saying, you know, and uh, maintain a, a healthy diet, um, as far as like, you know, I take Blackstone Labs for supplements, that really helps as well. I mean, even, uh, you know, everybody in the supplement world, there's no such thing as a miracle p pill, you know what I mean? You really have to work hard and really be disciplined in all areas. And then from there on, I mean, the supplements will help, definitely. So, Yeah, absolutely. And I, I really appreciate the fact you said there's no miracle pill because, you know, years ago, there have been companies that have tried, you know, with that gimmick, like, oh, you don't have to train, and uh -huh. you don't have to eat, and you don't even have to sleep properly, you just take right. this pill, and, and it's really snake oil, you know what I mean? It really is, but I think when you've got a company like Blackstone Labs and the technology, you know, just this past uh, weekend, I was at a meet and greet with PJ, and one of the things that came up a lot, Rocco talked about it a lot, PJ talked about it a lot, is the liposomal technology, which is unheard of in the industry, but just putting you know, the R&D, the research and development behind each product is, is really a good thing. You know, that's why people, I really feel, you know, not to be an infomercial, but it's just the truth. People that buy Blackstone pay for Blackstone because of the quality, you know what I mean? Um, right. With regards to your training now, um, how, like, what does what your training look like now? Because like even Kim and a few people have come in have, have remarked on your shape. 
you, you hold on to a lot of muscle, but it's lean. You know, a lot of guys hold on to muscle, but they also have a lot of fat that comes with it. Right. Appreciate that. Yeah, like I said, I've been with Blackstone Labs Legion about five months. And um, I've been uh, experiencing uh, different supplements, different brands, probably within my 10 years. I mean, starting out with NO Explode, you know, <laughs> with BSN. Uh, Cellicor is a big one that when I worked at GNC. And a big shout out to Keith Johnson. He was a regional at that time. They got me a part-time job there um, learning the supplements. But I got into Cellicor C4 Ultimate, um, learning HMB, learning uh, test support, natural test support, and things like that. Um, as of now, what I think has uh, been making the significant change with Blackstone Lab supplements is that I've been working out early in the morning. I want to say, like, I get up at about 3.30 in the morning, um, five days a week. Um, from there on, I take my multivitamins. Um, before my workout, I would uh, do a basically a stack, Blackstone Lab stacks, the Dust B2 with the Hype Reloaded. And uh, that's some that's some good stuff. I do it. I put about 14 to 16 ounces of water, and then uh, I I basically just chug the 16 ounces of water, drive to the gym, do a nice stretch, and probably start working out about 20 to 30 minutes from when I take it. And then uh, from there on, it's that's it. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm gone. You know, I'm doing uh, you know all the training that I can do about an hour and a half workout, and it, it really helps definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's the thing, too. I think that you have a routine, you know, that, that, that you stick to and you stick to that plan. You know, I'm sure there's days where you want you don't want to get up, but you do it. And I think that's really where you see the gains. I mean, the gains don't really come, you know, just spontaneously. They, they it, Nobody's that lucky, I don't think. You've got to really, like, put the hours in, you know. Yeah. And I also think kudos to you that you, you give a shout out to uh, your old GNC regional manager, because that's a huge thing in the industry. And I know you know this, Tony, but like a lot of people don't. And that is, is that you, once you build a relationship, you, you know, you, you, you strengthen it, you keep it, you don't forget where you came from, you don't forget people that helped you along the way, you know, and that's another great way to like really just, you know, expand the fan base and just, you know, just develop more as an athlete, as a professional. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And you look at the gyms right now. I mean, it's like a big playground. They definitely changed the way they do things. Um, you know, I'm sure back in the Arnold days, um, you know, it's probably just a lot of bodybuilding, lifting weights. Now a lot of the gyms are going towards to more, you know, there's turf, kettlebells, there's sleds, um, there's rope climbing, you know, monkey bars, you know, it's mm -hmm. like playground. And on top of that, you know, then the, there's your workouts where you can really isolate and really focus on each muscle group, which is I, which I still do. And uh, um, it's great, you know. It's good that I can inspire at least one person on social media, the more the merrier. But uh, that's the reason why I kind of do social media at this time, too, is, is mostly to share, you know, my workouts, what works for me, and also have fun with it, build a relationship and a fan base. So, Absolutely. You know, there's a, a gentleman that I, uh, I'm very proud of. His name is Big Rob Fitness. And he, uh -huh. you know, talks to, like, sometimes he'll do a live. He'll have two people on there, you know, and I'm the second person or a third person. But he does it does it every single day and his audience is getting bigger and bigger. He's doing, you know, big shoots and he's like, you know, uh, appearing on big bodybuilding shows and, you know, but that's how you do it. You know, you just like, you start, it starts out like a little seed and you water a seed and it sprouts and it becomes, and that's just how it is, you know? And I, like, I, like you saying, if you can inspire just one person, I mean, Hey, that's where it all starts. You inspire right. one person and they tell someone else and it just gets bigger. It snowballs, you know, yeah. but it really always is about the quality, not the quantity. You know? And as long as you stay true to what you're doing, you're, you know, you're going to see like endless success. I also think that you have a look that's, that's, I think, really helpful to you. I mean, you've got a lot of ink on you, man, and you've got a nice sleeve <laughs> going on. Like, I don't know how much money you spent. Talk to us a little bit about uh, just the amazing artwork that you have on you, tattoos. I'll give a big shout out to Jamie Rodriguez. He was my art. He was actually originally from uh, Florida. Um, he, then he moved up to Minnesota. That's where I lived about uh, three years ago. And, um, Basically, I started, I didn't even get all my ink till maybe about, I want to say like a few years if that. And I basically just went all out. <laughs> a lot of things, you know, meaningful. A lot of my tattoos are, you know, all about life, you know, uh, dark and, you know, light, you know, and, uh, you know, so it's important to me. Everything is meaningful on my body and uh, um, it, it, it helps also motivate me too, you know, whatever I do in life. You know, I look at my tattoos and it, you know, helps, you know just uh, to basically um, wake me up every day and, you know, hey, look, you know, stay focused and, you know, life is too short and things like that. So 
I think a lot of people when they see tattoos, like like some people, they see it, you know, they, they see the whole, like, like, let's say your arm, they see the whole arm as one piece, you know, mm -hmm. and that's cool if that's, you know, if you're, if you're appreciating it for the aesthetic value, but you, uh, I'm sure can look at your arm and see it as, you know, a collection of like, maybe a dozen or two dozen different memories or a dozen or two dozen different thoughts or like every day you look at it and it tells you something different. I mean, it's just, I feel like, like, you know, you having the art on you probably has a whole lot more meaning, you know, than say a person that just maybe like sees it and admires it, you know, in a split second. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, you know, life is precious, you know, so, um, that's, that's what I believe. And, uh, um, some of my tattoos, you know, without darkness, there's no light. So basically, and you know, you got to kind of, and that can even relate to, since we're talking about fitness, even with fitness, sometimes you got to put the grit in and the hard work. And sometimes it won't be all like, you know, rainbows and sunshines, <laughs> but you know, in the end of the day, you know, it'll pay off. So. For sure. You know, and, and when it comes to Legion, I, 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 I think of you and I think, I don't know if you know Rose Medina, Marathon Mom, but you're both very similar in the sense that, you know, like some people put out like workout content, you know, and they might like make a, a grunty face or they might yell or just whatever. But like you both, neither one of you really does that. But like both of your workouts are like insanely intense. Like your every <laughs> like picture you put out or like video you put out, it's like, you know, it's truth and advertising. It's like you're like truly suffering. I mean, you're not like, you know, you're not wearing the face or like, you're like, you know, like, you know, FML or anything like that. But you, you know, it's like really intense stuff. And she does too. And she actually works out. She has like a like like an attic gym because her kids are downstairs, and uh, she goes up there and she just does like I mean it's almost like a torture chamber the stuff that she does. But it's just it's just really cool because like you know at the end of the day it makes you feel really good afterwards. You know it's like it, it's a uh, a lot of people like look at fitness almost as therapy. You know which I which I could totally see that as well. You know. Yeah, that's what I use it for, man. Um, you know, it's definitely therapy stress reliever on top of that i made a life changes you know um i'll tell you a little bit about you know the histories that you know i had some bad habits you know like everyone may have you know and um you know i was just sick of the daily routine of you know working eight hours a day you know and then when friday hits you know get ready go to the club you know have drinks you know eat at mcdonald's you know drive through after the club and i was uh you know i was just sick of that that lifestyle and then once i started getting more into fitness um you know, there's uh, obviously, um, you know, commitment that you got to make. You can't do both. And that wasn't the life that I wanted to live anymore. And I started getting uh, more into fitness and, you know, it, that that being a lifestyle mm -hmm. for me. No, I agree. And, and I, I really like how you word things. Like you you even said, like, like a lot of habits that people may have, you know, which, which really, like, removes – a lot of the judgmental side of it, because like a lot of people will say if people have it, you know, you know, you have it, you know, you're no exception, but you know, you saying may, I think that's really cool. I, I just pick up on little things like that. But I just think that's really important because not everybody has the bad habits, but like even within fitness, there's people that honestly, you know, they look fantastic, you know, they look fantastic. They're in great shape. They could probably run a mile in like nothing, but they still, they still, you know, after the gym, they're, they may not be drinking carbs, but they're still hitting the drugs. They're still drinking a lot of alcohol and they look fit, but they still have that dark side that they're still able to like compromise with their fitness. But it's good if you're like, like I guess basically straight edge is really, I think that's the ideal. You know, if you can just put the bad habits aside and focus on fitness and, 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 and overall improvement, physical, mental, emotional improvement. I think that's amazing. I think that's the way to go. That's, that's like the, the straight and narrow. So I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think you you already told us like your like go to stacks like for you know when you wake up in the morning you go to the gym. But like, what's your if I was to say like what's your like what's your favorite like what's your favorite like let's say what's your top three Blackstone products and then maybe next your favorite Blackstone product. Uh, let's say I tried the Dust Extreme. That is on top. Like I'm one of those people that take have to take a pre workout for all my workouts and then what happens is you start to kind of build a, uh, you know, a immunity. Tolerance. Yeah. Tolerance. You know what I mean? To that. And, um, dust X, I mean, you won't build a tolerance to that. I mean, that thing, you become an animal when you take that. I mean, that, that's the go-to, I would say that that's probably one of my favorite products. Glycolog. I got into that, you know, when you're having heavy, high carb meals, um, basically you take the, uh, glycologs and insulin, uh, mimic. 
So basically, it would take all the uh, the carbs and fuel, you know, as fuel to your muscles. So I, I like that. I mean, I seen that that helped me actually build lean mass. Um, that's another good one. And then the hype reloaded. I mean, I'm a good uh, I'm good with pump. I like that. It helps with my workouts that are uh, that are high intensity um, because of um, you're not you're not getting that caffeine kind of rush, you know, where your heart rate is just you know going through the roof. So you stabilize, you know, stabilize that, but still get a good workout if you're lifting weights and you know throwing 80 pounds or you know in the air and things like that. Um, a, uh, Apex Male Natural Testosterone is probably my number one product that um, I uh, have been currently taking. That's also building the lean mass, building my testosterone that I currently have in my, you know, as being 35 years old. Um, two main things is the dim, it's the estrogen blocker in it that is um, natural it's actually found in like you know broccoli brussels sprouts and cabbage and things like that so that's in there as well as the diaspartic acid which is um it's been i think it's been tested actually to, to really work to kind of get your natural testosterone to you know where at the highest capacity you know so no for sure and uh, you really really sound like you know your stuff which is great <laughs> i mean i i like i read here and there but you really know your stuff and i think that uh we were talking about earlier too when you're talking about your time at gnc and uh, working with a lot of the natural test boosters and understanding that I think that especially with Blackstone Labs, the natural products, there's a lot you can do. Like, especially if you're good about, I mean, that's the, that's the catch. If you're good about timing, consistency, you know, uh, that's, you could actually do quite a lot of damage uh, on a natural, completely hormone free stack. You know what I mean? Like you can oh, use yeah. Apex male, you know, um, and that, that actually, I've been using that myself. Like PJ sent me a bottle of that. And it's really, really good. It's four. You got to take four in a serving. But I yeah. mean, it's, uh, it's one of those things like bodybuilders take handfuls of pills all the time. But knowing what you're taking, that's like, you know, that's, that's key. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so uh, with regards to competing, again, I know that you said you don't compete. But, but you, are you thinking about it? I think you said you were. But, but, but have you given it serious thought? Though? Because like a lot of people remark on what good shape you are just here in this chat. And I've seen your, your, the pictures that you tagged me. And by the way, thank you for tagging. Um, yeah. um, is it something that you would consider doing like, like on a like, like serious basis or just kind of like maybe? Yeah, I, I've, I've had thought. And yeah, I think, um, you know, I know that it's going to take a lot of dedication, discipline, and, you know, which I have with my workouts and stuff. I, it's something that I, I would, I'm, I'm looking into. Um, I know that um, I definitely need a uh, couple, you know, trainer for that. As far as like, uh, I'm pretty good with the meal prep. My workouts are good. Um, I would say that mainly, you know, my mindset, I mean, that's important, you know, to be very disciplined uh, to start it. Um, but then I know that there's poses and things involved. I haven't done a lot of research on it, but I, I could tell, I mean, people that I follow, I mean, I mean, they bust their ass, you know, so, right. but yeah, I mean, it, uh, you know, anybody that's, uh, you know, watching this interview, if, I mean, DM me. You know, um, for sure. if you're, definitely. I'm in Florida, so home of Blackstone. <laughs> nice, nice. What part of Florida are you in? I'm in Central Florida, uh, so St. Right. Cloud. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I went to University of Florida, which is North Central Florida, Gainesville. But yeah, very cool. That's a great place to be, man. And now the Olympia in Orlando for the second year, and I, you know. It might go back to Vegas after the COVID and all that, but I don't know, man. Florida's where it's at. Tampa, Jacksonville, there's so much in Florida going on. The weather's beautiful. Like, I, you know, I think it's going to stay there for, for a good while. So I think that's a great place to be. Definitely. So, listen, I, I want to thank you. And, like, it was funny that uh, – because I was, I was told you, like, off uh, air, I said, you know, I'm always late two or three minutes. And you're like, I'm always on time. And it's like – so I, I think it's great <laughs> that you're on time. I, I do. It's just like – I'm just, like, kind of set in my ways. But – uh I do appreciate you doing this and I'm going to try to figure out a way to send you this so you can put it on your page as well. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm just very impressed, you know, just please keep tagging me and Blackstone Loyal, of course, Blackstone Labs on Blackstone Legion. Uh, you're doing great, great work, Tony. And, and honestly, I, I, I expect big things for you. Awesome. You too, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank the you very much, brother. So Goodbye. for Tony Ha, this is Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thank you again. All right. Yeah.